How you doing? I'm Darren with Ash Kickin' Barbecue. If this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. If you've been here before, then welcome back. Today, we're talking Alabama White Sauce. If you've never heard of Alabama White Sauce, it really is a shame because it's so delicious. And I'd invite you to do a little research on Big Bob Gibson's in Decatur, Alabama. Chris Lilly's the pit master down there. If you don't know who that is, you should. He's pretty popular in the barbecue community. But it's a sauce that they have made popular. And what they do is they smoke their chickens and then they dunk their chicken in a vat of this. And then that's how it's served. Of course, they also have some table side so you can add more to it. But it's a really thin sauce. It's got a vinegar base to it. It has some lemon juice for acidity in it. And it's just really delicious. And I've never had someone who's tried this that hasn't liked it. It's especially good on chicken wings, which we're gonna go ahead and use this for an upcoming video, chicken wing video. So let's bring you guys in and show you exactly how we're gonna make this sauce. All right guys, so to prepare our Alabama white sauce, we just need to start off with two cups of mayo. Right there. Then we need one cup of distilled white vinegar. Go ahead and add that. We need one half cup of apple juice. We need two teaspoons of prepared horseradish. I like the coarse ground. We need two teaspoons of black pepper. One teaspoon of salt. One half teaspoon of cayenne pepper and two teaspoons of fresh lemon juice. So we'll just add all that into our bowl and we'll just start mixing. All right, so after we have it all mixed up, we'll go ahead and transfer it in. Here, make sure we get all the seasonings and everything in there. Don't wanna leave any of that behind. Give it a quick little stir. And then all you have to do, add it to a mason jar and fill up as many as you want. I think we're gonna have more than just this one. And that's our Alabama white sauce. You can keep it in your fridge for up to two weeks. We're gonna need to get another mason jar to fill it up. We'll probably give one away. But you can see here, looks good. Throw it in the fridge for 24 hours. Let the flavors kind of mesh together. Go ahead and use it. It's really good, really delicious. And as always, the full recipe will be in the description below. All right guys, that's it. You now have some Alabama white sauce. Pretty much whatever you wanna use it on, it's delicious on. And it couldn't be easier. You can whip up a big batch, keep it in your fridge. Like I said, it'll keep up to two weeks. Uh, you can whip up a big batch and give some away to friends and family. I mean, it's absolutely delicious. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell, and we'll see you guys next time.